back to the channel. I hope you guys like that new intro. I'm gonna do it for every video, but in all seriousness, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. We are back at the shop. I picked up some items because my car is dirty. Yes, it is very dirty on the outside, but also on the inside. And since it's raining, and it's probably gonna be raining for the next couple days, I'm not gonna go ahead and just try to do a deep clean outside when at the end of the day it's just gonna rain and it's gonna be all to waste. I actually stopped by Walmart earlier and I picked up some cleaning items. I just went into the little auto care section, was looking around, seeing what stood out, and I was like, well, everyone always talks about Meguiar's, so I went with Meguiar's. And I'll show you guys what I got. So the first item on our list is actually gonna be the Meguiar's whole car air refresher. And what this does is you actually set it off like a bomb in your car and you let it run with the AC going full blast. And as soon as that happens, what happens is it circulates the air within your car and you have a brand new smelling car. My car doesn't necessarily stink, but I do want it to have that fresh, supposedly new car scent smell. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna actually save this for last because you have to let it run your car and then after that you have to like let everything air out. So I'll probably leave this last before I do the other items. Item number two is going to be the Meguiar's Supreme Shine High Gloss Protectant. I noticed that my, my dash looks really dusty and it also looks very dull. So I hope spraying this on there, bring it back some of its shine and also just make it look better. And the last item as far as what I picked up at Walmart is going to be the Meguiar's Carpet Cleaner. My carpets very much need this. Hopefully it restores the way they used to look like even just a little bit because from what they used to look like, it is far off. So those are just the items that I picked up at Walmart. I still have more items here at the shop just to kind of make sure everything else is clean as well since I'm doing a couple of the interior pieces, I just went ahead and just knock it all out at once. So I figured the best way to actually record me doing whatever I'm gonna do isn't gonna be with like holding the camera and then scrubbing it that way. I could probably set up a tripod, but I want you guys to exactly know the way that I'm doing it. So I also noticed some of you guys' comments from the video where I was doing the wrap saying that, saying that when I put it on my chest, it looked like I was just looking at my feet. I don't want to have that issue again. So I, when I was at Walmart, I actually picked up I actually picked up a head strap. So I already tested it out. It looks way better than the other one. Hopefully you guys like it. The mic on this is a little iffy. So if for some reason it doesn't sound as good as the camera does, you're just gonna have to bear with me. So I don't know who else is in the same situation as I am, but lately I've just been driving my car and with all the weather and just work, I haven't been really focusing on how dirty it is, so I just keep throwing trash and like, eh, I'll get to it soon, I'll get to it soon, and I've just been letting it pile up. I'm not saying there's stains everywhere, there's drinks spilled everywhere, but there is pieces of trash, so I'm gonna take care of that first. I just got done taking all the trash out of my car. Step two is going to be vacuuming, making sure there's no little debris left, and then we'll go into the more deep clean. Vacuuming and trash taken out complete. I'm gonna show you guys how the interior is looking. It's pretty dirty in there and there's also a hole. Can't do much about that. My goal is to try to make this look a lot better than it does already. Shine it up, make it look a little bit better. Over here, here as well. It's, it is looking pretty grimy in here. You can see it's pretty dirty in there. Pretty dirty in there. And if it would focus. But yeah, it's pretty dark. It's pretty dirty, as you can see. There's there's some stickiness from some drinks in the cup holders. Steering wheel hasn't been cleaned in like forever. The dash all has dust. So I used the vacuum, made sure to take off all the little dirt that was on there. But I still want to get rid of those stains. Hopefully the carpet cleaner is useful and gets rid of all that today. Have to get this area as well. This one isn't too dirty, but since I'm doing it, might as well do it all at once. Same on this side, carpet. This carpet doesn't look too bad on the inside. Still could use the cleaner. I'm also gonna make sure to clean this rubber floor mat for the back. 
Now that you guys saw what the car looks like before I go into a super deep clean, I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro and start going ham on this interior. I'm gonna start getting into the carpet itself now. As you guys can see, I have the Meguiar's carpet upholstery and cleaner. Let's read the instructions clearly. It says spray evenly onto area to be clean. Allow foam to penetrate for 15, 30 seconds. And to take with an included brush and blot area with a cream. Okay, simple enough. So we just spray it on here. I'm gonna start going in with the brush, kind of scrubbing it. It's kind of, it's probably hard to tell on camera, but if you look in here, you can see a lot of the dirt that it picked up. Just kind of leave that to the side before I go with the vacuum over it and start doing the same thing on the inside. Just right a little bit here and there. While that's going, I'm actually gonna move to the back. Same, same concept here. Spray a little there. This one doesn't need it too bad. Move over to this one. Same thing. Okay. And just a little bit here too. That way it has enough time to actually get in there and let uh, the dirt sip out. Now that I finished up scrubbing all the different carpets, I'm gonna use this towel. I just picked it up at Walmart. Oh, you see all that grime? Yeah, this is just gonna help them pick up that just the last little bit of dirt that was on the carpet before I vacuum it. Soak up all that excess moisture from the carpet cleaner itself. Jeez, would you look at that? It's definitely helping here. Even though this carpet is black and you might not be able to tell as much, it is definitely, yeah, look at all that grime. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the, all the rest of the carpets and then catch up you guys once that's done. Look at how much dirt was on all those carpets. Jeez, good thing I picked a white towel, that way I could show you guys, but definitely, definitely, even if it's a black carpet and doesn't look dirty, always give it a scrub. Just about done with the carpets, but I want to give it that like it just came out the detail, came out the car wash look. It's very simple to do. All you're going to do is grab your vacuum. Set that down real quick. All you have to do is vacuum up, let off, like don't keep holding it on the carpet, go down, up, down, and then you guys get this nice pattern like they do at the car washes. So I brought the other one over here just so you guys can see them side by side. Gave lines to this one, gave lines to this one, finished up inside, Whew. and I gotta admit, it looks way better. There's some up there that's just not gonna be able to be fixed, but the majority of it, even this black area right here, this is all clean. Also finished up the back, it's looking way better in there. Whoop. I'd say the carpet cleaning came out really good. 
Now that the carpet's out of the way, I'm gonna move on to doing a dash clean and cleaning up all those sticky spots that I found earlier when I was taking out the trash. So I'm gonna go inside the car now. Okay, so very, so I have this right here, which is the Supreme Shine from earlier. Um, it says the spray directly on the surface or towel, pat and apply evenly to avoid streaking and wipe off excess. Simple enough, so we're gonna spray some on here. Okay, we're just gonna start going on the dash. Let's start with this area right here. Oh, oof, oof. Instant difference, instant difference. This goes to show you guys how much I actually clean. <laughs> Put some here. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. Let me see if I can move the light up a little bit more. Yeah. yeah so I'm just applying it everywhere here. I'm actually going to probably spray some on the dash since there's so much area up here. Just, just the camera just a little bit. Just to apply a little bit here. to make this make sure I'm covering everything here. So far, so good. It looks, what's crazy is that once the light actually hits this area, it almost looks kind of blue with some kind of like sparkle or some blue with some kind of flakes in there. Now I'm gonna use something else for the steering wheel itself. But I'll say, just to get the light in here just a little bit more and hopefully the camera picks it up but just an absolute difference I mean it's not too shiny where it looks greasy and you can still touch it it doesn't feel like you just put oil all over your car it feels just right like it should like it's just the dash itself so far so good on two the two items that I got still have to see the refresher but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to clean the steering wheel so I was watching a video where it said that you can pretty much use the greaser. So this is just simple green, the greaser that I got from Home Depot. I just flip this towel over real quick. So we use the same one. I'm trying to conserve towels out here. Oop, let me slide by these lights. Okay. So all I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use this to pretty much clean all the all that nasty gunk that's there under here, some that fell under here, and just all those trips. Make sure it's on the mist setting. Spray some in the cup holders here. Spray some right here. Spray some on the towel. Spray just a little bit here. Okay, a little bit under. I probably should put on the towel. I don't want to mess up any wiring. A little bit here. Just try to get rid of all this stickiness in here. So I feel like this camera fixed it up way better, but you see how the carpet looks. Still a little bit dirty over there, but I tried my best. It just doesn't want to come out. Okay, let me sit here. So yeah, this is all clean. And this interior, whew. It just looks way shinier. Yeah. Clean this area. Looks way better in here. Definitely, definitely recommend for anyone trying to brighten up their dash. Now that the interior is all knocked out, we're going to move on to the air refresher. All it says is just make sure that the AC is running. Throw this in there for 15 minutes. Open up the windows, let it air out, and you should be ready to go. Hey guys, so I got the AC running. I'll just go ahead and... Oh, shoot. You guys see that? Alright, three, two... One. Oh, oh. Oh. 
<laughs> My windows are tinted so dark that it's so hard to see in there at night, but it's definitely going off in there as you guys saw. Just finished up wiping this down, letting it finish drying. And it's just about time to take it out. Woo. Guys, the smell is strong because it still haven't let it air out all the way, but woo! It smells so good in here compared to what it smelled like before. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on Meguiar's. I'm not going to say all their products because I haven't tested all their products. But this little thing right here smells, smells really, really good. So I really, really hope you guys like that. It was my first time doing any type of deep clean on my car like that. And every product I used was the first time using it. I highly recommend all three of them. I have no type of affiliation with them. I wish I had some kind of sponsorship with Meguiar's. That'd be awesome. But I just, you know, I always like see their products and I know that they have high praise. So I went ahead and just grabbed those. This little thing right here, highly, highly recommend if your car stinks or if it just has a smell that will not go away, use one of these, you'll be good, trust me. One more thing before I go, if you guys like that POV shot, please let me know. If you guys want me to test any other products, also comment them down below. I'm willing to try something new for my car. Let my car be the test for you guys before you buy. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, until the next one.